So this is endeavor. this is the day. This is it, right? He's the number two hero. This is big. This is the most anticipated fight for me so far in the tournament, I think. That would mean I have even more reason to beat you. The whole thing just feels confused to me. I will defeat you using only How do you feel if you're Deku too? Like Deku's a kind hearted kid, so he obviously cares a lot about Shoto. I to everyone who supported me to try my best. I will beat you. Obviously, I feel a lot for Todoroki, but I feel a lot for Deku as well, because it's so much for him to consider. Like, he's a kind-hearted kid, and Todoroki had this, like, outpouring of <laughs> emotion and honesty in the hallway, or whatever that thing was. Todoroki was laying it down as a challenge, but really, what it felt like to me, and I think to a lot of people probably, is, like, an outreach. Like, help me. You know what I mean? I don't know. There's a lot of, like, weirdness with Todoroki's approach to this whole thing. To me, it feels like he's just hurting. He's just hurting, and he's just looking for a way through the pain. And, like, to his credit, and, like, thankfully for him, he's channeling it in a way that, you know, it's it's wrong, but it's still right. Because he's not shrinking into it and just, like, becoming this miserable creature. Like, he's working hard. But if you're Deku, as someone who seems like an empath, he's gonna be very aware of, like, the stakes. And how do you weigh what's more important in this situation? What's interesting to me about a lot of these events is that there's multiple games being played at once. Like, there's the hero game, which is important, but, you know, a lot of that's career-based. There's another game that, to me, is is definitely important and can't be ignored, which is the human game between them as friends, you know? And it's just, like, reasonable human people. I think Aizawa had it right that the correct answer is to treat the rules of the competition seriously and to give it your all. But still, if I'm Deku, there's an inhibiting factor for me in, like, going full force. Oh, here we go. Childhood flashback. Just remember, stay true to yourself. This is the mom? This is the mom that threw boiling water on him? What went wrong? What happened? I feel like there's a lot more to this story that we're not getting yet. <laughs> They're like me. You can tell that they recognize the stakes. This is a big deal. This is not just the two of them fighting either. It's like All Might versus Endeavor in its way. I wonder how many people are aware of that. Seems like Class A is a pretty good conception of that. That whole thing. It's I can't help but feel, like, feel a little bit proud of him. Like, he's come a long way. Midoriya's legit. I like that Todoroki respects him too. He's not arrogant. Here we go, the, the opening move. Just icing everything. Wow. Well, Deku's done. <laughs> that was just one move. That's, wow. Many a spectator died that day from icy winds. Just as I expected. He's prepared to injure himself to counter me. He's picking up on this. There's only so many times Deku can do this. You only got 10 fingers. <laughs> His attacks are so fast that it's hard to collect data on him. So collect data. During this fight, I need to focus Where's your notebook? An opening somewhere. Figure this out. Come on. So much for inhibition. <laughs> this is pretty committed. Damn, look at that face. Five more chances. Do something. <laughs> hey, nice job making it to the second round, Kirishima. Thanks, man. Nice arm wrestling. Looks like I take down Bakugo next. I'll kill you. Yeah, good luck with that. Quirks are physical abilities, too. They can get worn out. You can't just use them non-stop. Okay, is that for Todoroki? His weakness? But Deku will run out before Todoroki does. Four more chances. <laughs> That's all the fingers on my right hand! Todoroki with the Midoriya's power and is now rushing his classmates! Uh, no! Oh, that's his, like, already broken finger. Oh no! Not good! Toe flick? <laughs> Was it his whole arm? I don't know if this is like sending the right message to the world, speaking of symbols. He's revealing the glass house nature of his powers. Glass cannon. His judgment, mobility, reasoning. Drive. All of his abilities are incredible. I love the ice effect whenever he does the his moves. He's shaking. Right. That's what Bakugo was saying. The rules apply to him too. Look at him. He's furious about using <laughs> his power. Oh no, that's a mistake. He's underestimating Midoriya. In his head, he's already won. Why don't we end this? There was something a little bit weird and dark about this. No, like, how do you feel if you're All Might watching Deku destroy himself? It's hard for me to not think that All Might, as conscientious and caring as he is, doesn't have that weigh on him somehow, at least in some small way. It maybe feels like he's ignoring it because he feels like there's something more important at stake, but it's a lot to ask. Deku's really going all in for this. As a mentor figure, as a father figure even, what do you, how do you feel about that? Speaking of multiple games being played, you know? I am not done yet! <laughs> 
What was that? That felt different. With your broken finger? Oh wow. Why are you going this far? That's extra broken. It's easy to forget the quirks are physical abilities. And that means there's a limit to the cold your body can <laughs> you can barely right. move. Usually you'd make up for the drop in temperature by using the heat from your left side. Oh he's he's cold. That's why he's shaking. It's not fatigue necessarily. To make our dreams into a reality. To become number one. Yeah, this is a game changer for everybody. This is not your normal match. I think you can win with half your strength? This, I mean, it's a battle of wills, as much as it is powers. A single scratch on me yet. <laughs> Damn, it's always amazing how, like, Deku can really pull it out. He's got a new, like, swag, I feel. Talking back to Endeavor, standing up to Bakugo. He's got something different. He's got something else. And that rings true to me, too. It's interesting to me, because, you know, for all this talk that we hear about, like, believe in yourself and you will succeed, you know, believe in your dreams, etc. I feel like it's less a belief in yourself that brings that out, but a belief in something you're doing. You know, like, when you you found something that you care so strongly about, you can, you know, wake up and sort of know exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it. That creates a resilience to things that don't matter as much. Deku is reaching so high here. Like, he's reaching for, like, hero of the earth. And that means more to him than, like, status or money. That is, like, goodness incarnate. It. you know that's like the purpose of of life that's the ultimate ideal so if he really believes that what does it matter what endeavor thinks of him you know what does it matter what bakugo thinks of him and like taking this to a really crazy degree what does it matter what all might even thinks of him i don't know but that's a reach right now for deku <laughs> that boy. yeah he's getting attention now this feels sort of like a turning point for both of them though what did my monster of a dad bribe you or something Oh, he's losing it. Now I'm mad. Maybe his quirk is like a magic meter in a video game. <laughs> I love this running on empty. video game conceptualization. I'm always grateful for it. In close quarters, there's no way he'll be able to dodge me. Well, you're playing right, right to his power, though. He just needs one hit to like kill you. <laughs> the egg in the microwave. <laughs> and that was the moment <laughs> Todoroki knew he fucked up. Ooh. Is that his first time, like, hitting a human? Why? I'm shocked he got up from that. Damn, it's still going. I thought it was over. How many times can you break your fingers? <laughs> this is gonna suck later. Even if he wins, he might not be able to fight in his next match. At this rate, he might end up with permanent damage. Well, that's no good. Like I said, you know, multiple games, man. Multiple games. Even if it can be healed, to go through such intense pain and still be putting up a fight requires an absurd amount of resolve. This is a really nice moment. Why is he so intent? He's the greatest hero, and I want to be just like him. I know my motivation might seem stupid compared to yours. Not at all. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> no way. That was a really beautiful sequence for a number of reasons. Like, one, I love that Aizawa is having this, like, sort of wake up to Deku and who he is and what he can do. Because we know Aizawa is pure. Like, he's like Deku in that sense where he understands exactly what he's doing and why he's doing it, and there's just no frills. So I feel like Deku just gained a new a new mentor, a new supporter. But also, I love how Deku's still talking about All Might and wanting to be like All Might. But, like, in some interesting way, he's already there, and All Might's gotta be shocked. Like I said before, one of the beauties of their, of their relationship is that it's mutual. It's not just All Might giving to Deku. Deku is something that All Might needs, because I feel like in some sense, he is maybe in a better place than All Might. He's, like, uncorrupted by, like, the weight of the, the reality of the world, and by the tragedy of being this, like, suffering hero, you know? Deku's young and pure, uncorrupted, so, like, I feel like the inspiration's going the other way. It's not Deku being inspired by All Might. Oh, it is, of course, but in this particular moment, he's the source of the inspiration. Your life has been so much different than mine. But right now, stop screwing around! If you want to Whoa. reject your father, fine. But you don't have the right to be number one if you aren't going to use your full power! Damn, Deku! Getting right to it! No, no, but this is a trap. <laughs> I'm starting to understand. Just like with, what was his name? Shinzo. They lure you in. They lure you in, but no. This is where the heartstrings get pulled, pretty sure. But regardless of that, when did Deku become so insightful? I feel like that's that was spot on. I sort of like how they framed it there, where Deku is fighting to live up to people's expectations, but Todoroki is fighting to, like, escape people's expectations. And I think Deku's a little bit off still because he's trying to live up to, like, all of my expectations. But for me, like, what I'm thinking about watching this is that actually I think there's something even higher, which I think Deku actually is doing in a way, which is living up to one's own expectations. For me, I think that's sort of where it's at, as a person looking for, like, how to live and how to find some connection to one's own life. It's about like not shying away from the things that you think you could be and, and 
want to be. And it doesn't even have to be something super high. Like, I don't even think it has to be like the greatest hero of all time, like in the show. I think we're satisfied even when we hit like just a reasonable goal, but it has to be an honest one. It has to be an honest reflection about where we think we, we fit and what we think we actually are capable of. And anything below that is gonna be really painful. For me looking at Deku, I don't think that it's really possible to be this good and work this hard and sacrifice this much unless it's something about oneself, something deeply personal. Like you just can't do this if it's only for All Might. It'll be hollow, he'll collapse, it'll be empty. Deku has something something more than that. This is something that he wants for himself. It's just that it has All Might's face kind of, you know? He has an ideal and He's connected that ideal to All Might, but the ideal is not All Might. You know, the ideal is in him. Todoroki, on the other hand, is mixed up because weirdly Todoroki, by like trying to not please Endeavor, is trying to please Endeavor, although that sounds weird to say out loud. He's trying to prove something to his father, still. He's trying to prove that he's he's worthy to his father. But are Endeavor's values really the ones you want to be playing to? Is that the ideal? So I kind of love that Deku's calling him out. He can be more than this. Like, despite the fact that he has his flaws, as, you know, every teenager with a crazy dysfunctional family ha would have, he still managed to, like, preserve some of the best aspects of himself. He's found a way to sort of save himself from himself. <laughs> he has to look inside himself to save himself from his other self. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyway, point is, what if this was a turning point for Todoroki. You know, what if instead of thinking about himself in his family's terms, he thinks about himself in his own terms? That's when he's going to be deadly. So I feel like that's such a great insight from Deku. And I feel like this is the start of something pretty great. And now, the heartstrings. <laughs> now the waterworks. If you get hurt that easily, you can forget about beating All Might. Or even a small time Oh, villain. God. Please stop pushing him. He's only five years old. He can take it. Get out of my way. Oh, no. Just remember, stay true to yourself. Yeah. You can be the kind of hero you want to be when you grow up. Right. Man, his mom, too. A child's left side sometimes looks unbearable to me. Oh no, stop. Stop. I can't raise him anymore. That, that ominous kettle on the stove. Run! <laughs> Flashback, Shoto, run! <laughs> Where did Mama go? Huh? Oh. She hurt my masterpiece, so I put her in a hospital to keep you safe. Oh, yikes. That was your fault. Uh, Maybe she's in a theater troupe with her new boyfriend. I will reject you. <laughs> All right, now we're getting to some dicey stuff, but I don't think it's as clear cut as Shota's interpreting it. Assuming we're seeing what actually happened, yes, Endeavor is totally misplacing his, his own goals and objectives. He's dumping his own weakness onto Shoto, right? Yes, he's missing the big picture of like seeing this kid as his son. Did he cause Shoto's mother to throw hot water on him? No, that was her. If that happened, that was on her. Does Endeavor not care about Shoto at all? Sort of unclear. It's possible that the concern is there, the care is there, but the logic is flawed, right? Like possibly Endeavor's thought is, I want the best for my son and I never had the best. I made all these mistakes. I was incapable of being the best and being the best is the only way to live well. And so I'm going to make it so that my son can be the best because I care about him and want him to have what I never had. That is a flawed way of thinking, but for me, it's not hard to imagine that there actually is genuine concern in there somewhere at least. But as a kid, there's no way you would think about it that way. Because all you're seeing is like the pain, your own pain. My guess is that, you know, in real life later on, if given the chance, you know, if he has some room to sort of explore these feelings, what Todoroki might uncover is that there's another aspect to it, which is his father's pain. And I think that might make it more bearable to think about and more transparent and less like self-invasive. That's one of the hardest things about being a kid is like you're primed for survival and your survival depends on your environment and your surroundings and so it's really easy to internalize your parents flaws as your own flaws and like self-blame in that way. But with age and with some you know a little more nuanced thought you realize that like those things were not all you they were largely your your parents things and like you can sort of maybe not forgive them but you can sort of understand it a little bit better just because they are just older kids you know, so like all the damage you have, they had the same damage or like the same degree of damage, even though they have, had different problems. And it likely started with their parents and their environment, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like understanding that helps you sort of like refocus the lens in a, in a more positive way where now it's, well, okay, well, who do I want to be? And that's, I think, exactly the journey for Todoroki. And that's exactly what his mother is saying and Deku is saying. It's yours! Your quirk, not his! <laughs> right, right. This is making me really curious about Endeavor. But the most important thing to remember is that a quirk is what you make of it. <laughs> all my's on it, of course. Only you can decide to become a hero. No one else. Take this to heart, kid. Love you, All Might. <laughs> I didn't realize. It's all mixed up. He does want it. I'd forgotten. Yeah, yeah. He's just gotta like get get to that. Get back to that. 
Oh no, but if he uses the fire, then that's not not great for Deku. Whoa. And they've hinted that the fire actually is his stronger power. I didn't expect this whole arc to happen in this tournament. Yeah, he's like, sort of made it. This is very symbolic. It took Zuko two seasons. I wanted to. I'll be a hero. They both were winners that day. That that's that is a smile. That is one way to smile. You finally accepted your purpose. <laughs> this is not the time, dude. <laughs> let let them like do their thing first. Save it. You will live up to the reason I created you. Never just walks into the stage. And Deku suddenly shouts words of encouragement. What a doting father. Way to air out your family drama in a packed stadium. Don't blame me for what happens next. Uh, what happens next? <laughs> I wonder. Death. He still got his legs, ten toes. That's it, Midnight. One of them could be killed. Are they stopping the match? Come at me with your full power, Todoroki! Well, that was pretty awesome looking. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> they should stop this fight. Thanks. These kids are ready, man. They're ready. Interesting. So what happens now? What happens when they? Oh, someone died. Some. Yeah. He lost? No. Todoroki wins! What? Thanks a lot, Todoroki, for destroying my bracket. I'm so pissed. Do 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 wa 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 wa. I feel better. <laughs> Respect though. Respect for having Deku lose in the second round. Should I revise my bracket? Feels pathetic now. <laughs> Well, Todoroki goes to the finals. How does he not? Todoroki Bakugo? I mean, that'd be cool. And then a winner would be Todoroki. I mean, I'm biased because I just saw this episode. How do you vote against him after this? Did he actually lose? I might. I feel like there might be a twist. Like, something happened. He won before... I don't know. There's something fishy about this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. They sort of gave me exactly what I was, I was thinking, exactly what I wanted. And I think the correct resolution to that whole thing. It's a big thing for me, personally, to watch this kind of episode. And it always has been in the past. I think it's just relevant to me, probably relevant to a lot of people. The difference of perception between like when you're a kid looking at your parents and their flaws and sort of taking too much responsibility for that and then being an adult and sort of looking back at it and like seeing your parents as, as humans and separating from it. It's this difficult thing but sort of critical where I feel like at some point you, you got to put things in your own terms. It's got to be about the things that you feel are good for yourself independent of other people's flaws or expectations. Even if it's things that are good, you know, even if it's where they want the best for you, at some point you make the decision to listen to your own instincts and focus on your own ideals of yourself. And I think the more honest that is and the more you explore you know, the more you hopefully find that thing that you feel so connected to that it's its own like source of strength, you know, like Deku has found and like Todoroki seems to have found at the end of the episode. He does want to be a hero. That's the thing. This was a very fun episode. I mean, the action was great, but also I feel like the interaction between them is, is really awesome. And I love how like the kids become the adults in a way. Even All Might, it's funny, he looks kind of small compared to Deku just in this one episode. And I feel like he's sort of acknowledging that. And not for the first time. Like, that's how this all began, right? He he sees that Deku has something, has a maybe a purer form of something that he, he has, of course, but like, it's been a little bit diluted by time and by other things. Deku is just like, so focused on what that is. Very interested to see what the, the remainder of the tournament will be, because now my, my bracket's destroyed. <laughs> but I guess I'll see you next time for, what is it? Bakugo versus Kirishima? That should be interesting.